Hi everyone, this is Mahesh Pandey. I will be your instructor for ISO 27001 DDoIDA training course. IE Vision, IT Services Private Limited, is an accredited training provider. Here are some of my capabilities, or rather in terms of qualifications. I'm a CISA, GDPR, COVID implementer, ISO 27001 DDoIDA implementer, ISO 22301 for business continuity, as well as 31000 for risk management. I have taken this explicit certification names for you to know that your ISO 27001 has a relevance to this certification or the courses in the, of course, the entire training program that I'll be delivering. There are various other certifications that I have achieved and I've been delivering trainings on that. Now, moving on, here are some of the, of course, uh, qualifications I have done. Uh, of course, I've trained people from 45 plus countries. I'm a credit trainer for TOV, PECB, PEC, People Cert, and various other providers. With respect to your ISO 27001 training, there are various modules that we'll be going through. Of course, the, before we start, we will have an introduction as well as understanding about ISO 27001 standard. ISO 27000, that is vocabulary of ISMS information security management system. ISO 27000, that is a requirement for organization to fulfill. ISO 27002, of course, the best practices for implementing the information security controls, uh, as well as ISO 19011, that is the guidelines for the auditing management standard. Okay, so that you will be understanding. So there are various terminologies that you will understand related to information security, like CI, that is confidentiality, integrity, availability, threat, vulnerability, as well as risk, and some more terminologies related to attack, access, authentication, and whatnot, okay, which are defined in ISO 27000. Now, moving ahead, and this is what I have mentioned, that is, these are some of the standards and terminologies that you will understand. With respect to the course, that you will have the, of course, understanding about the certification process. Now, certification process means this is for individual as well as for organization. Now, you have to consider in this training, you are a lead auditor, meaning that you will be leading the entire audit program. That can be your internal audit or as well as certification. We will be focusing more on the certification part of organization. Think that the organization is going for a certification on ISMS, that is Information Security Management System. ISO 27001 is a standard for that. So you as an auditor from a certification body, you will be evaluating the processes, policies, and their applicability in the organization. Respective controls the organization have implemented. So you will understand, I have mentioned that the fundamentals now. Important learning from my session that you will have is on ISMS implementation approach. When it comes to implementation, in general, that is avoided, neglected topic in auditor reports. However, my approach is unless you understand the information security management standard implementation, you will not be able to audit. So there are clauses and controls that needs to be implemented, defining the scope as well as statement of applicability. How do you do that? And how you will be taking the approval from the top management and various things. And what all the essential documents required for you to maintain as a part of ISMS. We will understand that. It will be easy for you to audit that. Now coming back to the point. With respect to types of audit, there are three types of audit, internal, external, and independent. That is also called as third one. So there is a great learning on that. This is very essential for you, not only to clear examination, but also in general in industry, there are a lot of confusions. I'm going to help you understand with that. You will have a really good understanding about the ISO 27001, 19011 standard, as well as 27001. That is a requirement for information security standard. I repeat, requirement. Requirements for whom to fulfill? Organization to fulfill that. So there are 10 clauses, 14 information security domains that is also called as control clauses. So there is a difference between the clauses. In terms of clauses, you can see 10 clauses. They are a part of framework. That is PDCA, plan, do, check, act. That's a deeming cycle. Okay. So there are four, five, six, seven are part of plan, do, eight, 
that is the uh, performance evaluation is ninth, and as well as A, that is the you can see the tenth one that you can see that is act, which is improvement. Fourteen domains that you will have like policies for information security, organizing information security, human resource security, asset management, as as well as the security related to physical, cryptographic controls. supply security operations and security so there are various domains that you have you will be learning that each domain may have one or multiple control objectives we will understand what do you mean by control objective and to achieve those control objectives there are 114 controls defined in iso 27000 so i'll try and give you a look at it in my introduction module 2 that you will have good understanding you have to have good understanding about we said standards terminologies however you should be knowing fundamentals about the audit that is the what is audit types of audit what is auditor auditee what is audit criteria as well as who is going to play that role in terms of observer technical expert many roles so that we will understand there are seven principles in ISO 27000 defined that is risk based audit as well as the due professional care uh, evidence based the independence integrity confidentiality there are several principles that you will be learning with me which you need to follow while you are conducting audit remember you are there for fact finding and not fault finding and i will be stressing this i will be preparing you accordingly so as you will become a professional auditor audit approach based on evidence and risk there are of course types of evidences as well as example records system logs configurations reports there are these are different types of evidences we will understand that in detail so risk based auditing in general there is lot more confusion about the risk based auditing okay so we will clarify that in now your audit actually starts when the certification body is approached by of course your audit team will approach to certification body that they would like to evaluate get their processes policies evaluate and they would like to achieve the standard that is iso 27000 for their organization they want to maintain so audit team will approach the certification body how this happens how this form filling and what to evaluate by certification body not necessary every certification body will have a capability to audit every type of organization in every industry so that is unlikely so how to approach that what to you should look at it from a certification body you will understand there is stage one audit stage one audit is all together document verification what do you mean by document verification there are list of documents as a part of your tdca the clauses as well as the controls which are defined in the scope document okay as well as statement of applicability we will be understanding that document we will see the effectiveness of the documents who you as auditor along with your team right then you of course once the first that is stage 1 or a phase 1 you may call stage 1 or a phase 1 once once the phase 1 audit is completed it is very obvious you will be evaluating the effectiveness what you have done as of now only the documents required by isms that is information security management system you have evaluated but now you will also look at the how they have implemented are they following that is what we call as on site audit activities so this is called as phase 2 or stage 2 audit okay but that is only possible once the organization that is audit have achieved stage 1 so there are two stages or two phases of audit phase 1 that is document verification by certification body and phase 2 is what you have as a part of the applicability testing okay that means the processes policies and the controls it with respect to the technology as well as managerial legal control that they have implemented and you are supposed to evaluate that so you will have to set up the communication during the audit there are of course audit procedures creating test audit plans closing the audit before that you will also understand when it comes to the part of phase 2 or or the stage 2 you will learn how to prepare audit plan audit checklist what do you mean by audit program okay so we will understand that you will be preparing with 
you will be prepared with an exercises as well on that. Next, closing the audit. Now, closing the audit, you will have to share the reports. Now, whom you will share the report? How you will ensure that the report is appropriate, relevant, and you have drafted the non-conformities appropriately? How to draft non-conformity? You will understand that. Okay. Now, what do you mean by non-conformity? Non-conformity is non-conformity to the requirement defined in ISMS. So we will, un unless you understand the clauses and controls, you will not be able to understand how to draft non-conformity. We will be taking a lot of exercises also on that. So beyond initial audit, nothing but that you have as a part of your surveillance audit. ISO 27001 standard for organization is valid for three years for, with conditions. First year full audit, second year and third year surveillance audit. Once the organization fulfills the requirement, they are certified. That means first year itself, they are certified after completing the full audit. But not necessary that they will be rewarded for that. What do you mean by that? Continue their certification. So keep that in consideration. Okay. So we will be, of course, as I said, that you will understand surveillance audit and we will be taking a lot of role play exercise. Value add to this, I will also take, I will also be taking they are the interview questions. So which is unlikely in any of the training programs. Okay. So here is on the closing part of it. So that we said that we are going to learn on the, of course, understand the learning objectives, 27001 standard, 27002, 29011, as well as 27000. Initiating the audience, stage one, preparing for stage two and stage two. You may consider phase one or stage one. No problem with that. Many organizations called phase one, type one or stage one, irrespective. Don't worry about it. Okay. Now, drafting non conformity report, audit conclusions. I have mentioned that you will, I will prepare you on your interviews as well. Okay. And I have seen many professionals who have done, done this program and they have achieved their but really good salaries as well as respectable job in industry, okay? Now, you can see why I envision this is going to be a four day training program, fifth day examination that you may have, okay? Or you can have an, of course, approach of four day examination itself, all right? Now, moving on, in my entire session, so you will have the service provider images like this, that is the provider undergoing the audit, certification body and the client client images this and certification. So as we will create a lot of scenarios and you will understand that thoroughly and go ahead with your learning without any challenges. You will also have an understanding about audit organization structure. Audit does mean organization undergoing the audit. You will be coming from the certification body. Remember that and your team, okay? It may be limited number of people coming from the certification body or more. It all depends on the size and scale of the organization to audit. So you will have understanding about this. What do you mean by this audit committee, the overall organization structure, including CEO and CFO, CIO, HR, admin, why we are including this, you'll understand that, okay? So you will go through the basic understanding of the ISO, IEC, history, what do you mean by 27,001, 9,001 and all together that you will understand. Okay, you will have a good understanding of framework and standard. Okay, there are some of the standards that I'll be briefing about. Okay, so there is an ecosystem of ISO 27000, International Accreditation Forum, the accreditation body, certification body, as well as the organization and individual. What is this, how it actually works, you'll understand. We'll go through the basics. You will understand the family of ISO 27000 standard, 27000, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, and 6, okay? There is, you can see sector specific guidelines as well. There are advantages of why did I mark? You will have a question and exam. These are some of the basic terminologies that you will understand. Okay, I have the slides as well as everything which is prepared to you as an auditor. You may rest assured and of course, join with me to learn with, of course, uh, in depth about IS 27001 and get certified and become an industry professional who can, of course, deliver the ISO 27000 training for the, uh, as well, sorry, ISO 27000 audit for the organization. So these are, this is what we have already discussed, right? Okay. Again, hope to see you in my training program. You have the contact details mentioned to you in front of you. 
you can approach us on provided email id that is info at the division.org also we are available on these contact numbers mobile numbers you can also send us a whatsapp with your requirement for your individual group or a corporate anywhere in the world and we will be happy to deliver the services thank you and hope you have enjoyed this introduction session